Okay, good morning. How are you all today? Um, my name is Donna, like she said, and I work at Breathitt High School, and I work with 7th through 12th students. Mostly, uh, my my caseload is special ed students, which we have to find different ways to help them learn. Well, my project is buddy benches for the respected. And what I like to do is not only provide a way for them to learn math and reading skills, but also to learn to do community service and, and let them realize that they can help others while learning something that be useful to them too. So first of all, I'm going to let you take one of these and pass them out. Just take one and pass it. The problem is um, improving our math skills, mostly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create four-foot uh, benches that's going to be made out of two-by-sixes, uh, four-by-fours, wood screws, and two-by-twos. Now... When I first, we have already got some of our materials in, and the boys, we, the boys packed them in and done an excellent job. They can't wait to get started on this. A couple years ago, we done picnic tables, we've done pillows for the the pillowcases for the nursing home. I always try to incorporate some type of community service with this. So. Um, the action plan is how can we use repetitive practices to mark, cut, create four-foot benches. They'll practice how to read a ruler, which is not only good for this project, but something that they'll use out throughout their lifetime. They'll learn how to use teamwork and teamwork skills. And folks, you all know if you've worked with anybody in a school system that you have to be able to work with other people. These kids, uh, they, we have some that will do the cutting. We have some that will use to operate the, the machinery. We have some that will actually do the talking when they're presenting them. After we get these projects done, then we take them to the nursing home and the hospital on this. We're going to try to do at least two a piece so that when, when somebody comes there that they'll be able to uh, have a place to sit if they want to go outside. We, like I said, we made a picnic table a couple years ago and, and it's still standing, so I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> uh, our action skills is the next part of this is to continue their math skills by we're going to take them to a, a, a local restaurant but before we go there, they have to look at a menu. They have to uh, say what they're going to order. They have to estimate the taxes, calculate the taxes. They have to calculate the percentage of a tip if it's a sit-down restaurant versus like a McDonald's. So the uh, math, I, I'm trying to show them different aspects of how to improve and how they will use math. I'm in Algebra 2 with a lot of these kids, and they'll say, when do we ever use this? Okay, so with this type of project, at least we can show them uh, how you can use the different types of math. Um, the timeline for this, we hope to have all of it finished by the end of February. Uh, if these kids, if I know these kids, they'll try to have it finished by December. They'll be, they're ready to go. Uh, we, had, we just got through with our first nine weeks, and they said, when do we get to build the benches? So they're ready for it. What, uh, what guided me with this project is I'm always trying to find different ways to help my students improve for afterlife, uh, for real life situations. And there's nothing better than letting them do a hands-on project and learn how they can use math with it. The evaluation will be, of course, when we get it through and it's still standing after a couple years. <laughs> Positive outcome will happen when the students not only improve their math and reading skills, but get the feeling of helping others. We done 68 pillowcases last year. The kids cut the material, they sold them, they delivered them, and they, the kids got such a great feeling when they handed them to the residents. Uh, the year before that, we did lap quilts for the VA hospital, and those patients were so excited to see those kids come. So it's, it's using math in real life situations. Ain't nothing better. Any questions? <laughs> 